Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. Today on Know Your Stuff, we're going to talk about Disney VHS tapes. And definitely we're going to dive a little bit into what is what, because there's a lot of misconceptions right now. There's a lot of crazy articles about $30,000 Beauty and the Beast VHSs and all that stuff. We're going to get into all that today. First off, I'm Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. I've been reselling for 30 years. If you're new to the channel, welcome. All to my veterans, welcome back. And if uh, you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button below if you want to learn more about different niches in the reselling business. And let's get right into Disney VHSs today. So what sparked this video for me is I've been noticing a lot of talk in a lot of blogs that have been talking about like these thirty thousand dollar VHS Disney tapes, and it's all it's all crap to to be honest. And we're gonna get into that right now. So this kind of we're gonna go here. So like, look at these forty nine thousand dollar VHS tapes, and and this all these kind of things sparked a lot of people thinking that their collections that they've had are gold. And I'm telling you, these are fake auctions, or at least I should say, these are fake prices. Millions of these things were produced. Now, why is it, so I guess maybe there could have been two parties here, someone that listed it and then someone that bought it just so they can sell some of their other VHSs that they had for uh, a good price. So like, let's say, you know, you someone might have, you know, listed this for $49,000, sold it to another party, and then canceled the order, it's still going to show up as a sold on here. And then if they have a bunch of them, they can sell them for maybe 100 and someone will snap it right up. They can like, oh my God, this is $100. When it, in reality, this Beauty and the Beast, I've been dealing with VHS Disney for a long time, and I'm telling you, um, this goes for anywhere between 7 to $20 sealed. This is nowhere close to even a $100 uh, VHS. I've seen some of them go as high as $24. Now, this is legit pricing. So what happens is these are pretty much fake um, fake prices, kind of hyping up the whole genre of Disney Black Diamond VHSs. And for those that aren't familiar, in the 80s, Disney started coming out with their movies on VHS, and they were called Black Diamond. They have a little Black Diamond on the side. And for those not familiar with that, let's see if um, someone actually was nice enough to show the Black Diamond in one of these photos. Not that one. I knew this was going to happen. Here we go. Here we go. I guess this auction is good for something. As you see, there's a black diamond there on the side. And it says the classics. So that's what you know when you have an 80s to early 90s VHS, Disney VHS. Um, they were called black diamonds. Now, in the, in the I would say the mid-90s to the 2000s, they started coming out with all their kind of movies in other cases but the black diamond series was a short run of these movies now there are some of them that are worth money and we're going to get into that because we're going to tell you the truth about what is what and what is really worth good money and uh, we'll explain it because they did come out with different versions of the black diamonds and we'll get into all that in a second so stay tuned to learn about this because you can still find these at garage sales and things for around 99 cents 25 cents now you want to find these sealed of course that's going to be what's worth the most money but i'll show you the ones that are worth uh good money that are open that are legit pricing and we're going to go over that right now so that is a basic summary of black diamond they were a set of vhs's that came in the 80s there's also a great site let's get back here for a second there's a great site, and I'll leave a link below to this. And this shows you basically all the releases from 1984 and I want to say to 1994. Now, as you can see, this Robin Hood, let's see if we can click on this. This Robin Hood was the very first black diamond released and this commonly is found in a black clamshell case now for those that don't know what a clamshell case is it is the plastic case that clamped down 
on the VHS cassette, which closed it. And it's called a clamshell because it's it's one piece and it closes like a clam. So that's in uh, in collector's jargon. That's what a clamshell case is. So anyways, this is the very first one that came out. It's Robin Hood. Now, <clears throat> this is important. Robin Hood also came out in 1991. As you can see, it's a different case cover, different art. Now, I want to show you guys the difference between these two. As you can see, it's pretty obvious. The fonts are different. You always want to look for this red font. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. As you can see, the Robin Hood doesn't have the arrow in it. And this is the easiest way to, show, to tell. Look for the black arrow. When you see the black arrow... Now you're going to go, okay, big deal, but let me show you something real quick. The first, very first black diamond was Robin Hood, and you can still find these. As you can see, we're going to start, we're just going to kind of scan these listings down. As you can see, these are all the ones that came out in 1999. Now you're going to find every once in a while the first one that came out. As you see, this one came in a white clamshell. Some of them came in black. Some of the earlier ones came in black clamshells. So if you see black clamshells, they're a little rare, but not by much. And as you can see, this Robin Hood has a black back and it also has the arrow. This is the very first one made. Now, I have to also tell you guys a pro tip. Some people will swap out the cases for a newer case. So just remember that, you know, this this Robin Hood right here could have came out in a black case, but someone could have opened it, pulled out the case, put in another one for a cleaner case. Um, I think some of the Robin Hoods did come out in a uh, white case. So uh, to a collector, as you can see, this went for good condition. It, it's selling for 27 uh, they go around that price. So I'm saying if you find this at a garage sale for 25 cents, it's worth picking up, but you got to know what you're looking for. And that's what these videos are all about to kind of show you guys, you know, what's, what is the crap and the mis the disinformation and what is the legit things to look for. So that is just the first example. Let's see if we can actually search by completed listings here. And we'll search by the top ones. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure there's a black case in here. I know I've sold them before. T43, okay, I, let's go with uh, sold listings. I'm sorry, we should have did that. And we'll go to the highest one. Um, as you can see, this, was a, this one was a preview tape. This is the most common one you're going to find. Is in, or, or, or I should say, you know, one of the ones that are worth good money is the black case one. As you can see, it came in a black case. A lot of the earlier versions came in a black case. And so that's when you know for sure that it's an older version. I know Beauty and the Beast came in a black case also, but that was part of a special package set. And uh, that's something for another time. But it, as you could see, you know, we'll go back to this other site here that I was talking about. And I'll leave a link down below for this site because it's actually a good, it's probably the best Black Diamond wiki there is because as you can see, Pinocchio and Dumbo also in Alice in Wonderland came out with different cover versions and then they redid them as you can see the the Pinocchio of him walking is the one that's worth the most and then there's a Pinocchio of him sitting so get familiar with these things even Dumbo the one where she where uh, Dumbo's flying and then there's the one where Dumbo's got his ears down and the one with Alice is pretty much the same cover it's just a little darker this one says walt disney classics this one says alice in wonderland so what i'm saying is there was some versions of these disney vhs's that came out that are the earlier vi versions uh this is a pretty common price for this one about 50 dollars for robin hood the original one so definitely look out for this this is legit pricing and if you want to start your black diamond collection use the link below to that site that i showed you and you can pretty much see what is what. You can even print that out and, or put it on your phone or something like that for when you're out on the field uh, until you get familiar of what's what. For me, I know I'll know this Robin Hood. If I see it in a garage sale or a thrift store, I'll grab it right away because I know exactly what it is. And these are legit pricing. This isn't $30,000 pricing here. There's no such thing as even... I don't even think there's, there's Disney VHSs that go for $500. I know that probably the most rarest VHS and the most sought after VHS is Song of the South. And let's get into that real quick and then we'll go right back into Disney, um, the Black Diamond. Let's go into Song of the South. I think if you actually found a, 
um, a sealed one, it might go for between 500 and 1,000. Sealed ones are really hard to find. I don't think I've seen... Uh... Oh, there's a sealed one right there. It went for 50. That's actually a good price. So anyways, as you can see, Song in the South, I've seen this go as high as $300. Song of the South is definitely... And the thing is, here's a great thing about Song of the South is... There's, there's only one version of it. So if you see it, you got to buy it because you know it's going to be the legit version. It's not, a, it's not a reprint or anything. All the Song of the Souths are worth anywhere between 50 to 100. Some of the good, better conditions I've seen go as high as 300. If you have a sealed one, I would list it probably at 400 and just see where it'll go. You probably can get less for it. But anyways, you might ask yourself, well, why is Song of the South worth so much? Well, they stopped printing them. I want to say I want to say it was in the late 90s or the early 2000s. I'm not quite sure, but it had to do with um, kind of this politically correct culture we live in. And Song of the South had some racist terminology, and it definitely was uh, race related as far as um, why it was it was they don't produce it anymore. So it was like one of those things where you know back in the days they made these movies that were sort of racist. Or racist and they kind of uh or or had kind of soft you know racist tones to them and disney decided you know they're not going to produce this anymore so that is why song in the south is worth money and that is a pro tip for you guys so anyways let's go back to black diamond let's go look at some of the we'll look at some of the legit pricing on this because all this um all this thirty thousand one hundred thousand or hundred thousand thousand dollar stuff is is not correct and so let's go to black diamond and we'll show you the highest now we're gonna go well, i'm actually gonna show you some different legit dv or dvds <laughs> vhs's that are legit um, this one is a rare one. This is a legit one. This one went for 175. This one is a rare one because it actually came with a um, a cassette that was on it. So look out for that. Some of these cassettes, Disney cassettes, go for a good amount of money. I should probably make a video on just cassettes alone. But as you can see, this is an original Sleeping Beauty. This was a factory sealed one. This was one of the older ones. As we can we can compare, we see the Sleeping Beauty of that package and we can compare over here and as you can see it is the first version that came out in 1986 so use this as a guide definitely so that is a legit price 150 for sealed um, some people are selling the sets together you can find these at thrift stores for you know between 99 cents here's another sleeping beauty this one went for best offer around a hundred dollars so I don't see any of the Pinocchio ones. Oh, here's the Beauty and the Beast I was talking about. Sometimes you'll find the set and the Beauty and the Beast will be separate. And you'll be like, well, why is Beauty and the Beast in a black case? And anytime you see Beauty and the Beast in a black case, it, it is because it is in this special set. And I guess they didn't take high quality photos, so I can't really show you a higher quality photo. But... But if you see Beauty and the Beast in a black case, it's because it was from the set. And the set brand new goes for around $75 to $100. So I've sold the black Beauty and the Beast cassette <clears throat> uh, sealed for around $40 or $50 just for the cassette itself. Um, as you can see, there's some of the older ones. Beauty and the... Or actually, so that's actually... I didn't know that, but the Sleeping Beauty one is actually one to look for. It used to be Pinocchio back in the day was the hardest... Far so here you go. Here's a good example of an older Pinocchio. We can actually research it here. See the cover there. This is the older version. As we can see here in this one, this one went for $99. This is the older version. It also came in the black case. Not for sale. This was some kind of preview one. I don't know about that, but anyways, it's a lot rarer probably. So that is that. Some of the other... Uh, VHS's that you want to look out for or some of the ones that they sold at Disneyland and Walt Disney World and we'll scroll down a little bit those ones go for probably around 20 to 50 dollars we'll talk about Little Mermaid and the penis castle in a second that's actually a funny one that's actually a, a side note that we definitely need to talk about here 
Um, let's go scroll down a little bit further and see if we see any of the ones that are. Here's another Robin Hood right here. Uh, this Robin Hood went for $50. I don't know why it went for that much. This one was whoever sold this got a got a good sale because you can find this one for like $7. Someone must, must have thought it was one of the first ones. Here's an earlier version of Dumbo. This went for 40 Folks, this is legit pricing. This isn't $30,000 pricing here. This is legit stuff right here. This is the earlier version of Dumbo. As you can see, even the cover looks a little off. So just remember when you're looking, when you're out on the field and you're looking for stuff. And actually, we're searching under Black Diamond. That's why we're not going to see any uh, of those Disneyland ones. And as a matter of fact, we'll go to, we'll say um, Epcot. I think I spelled that wrong. Uh, Walt Disney World. That's right. So some of these these earlier uh, Epcot, I spelled that wrong. See, I'm not in Florida, so I, I don't know what I'm spelling. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, some of the earlier ones of Epcot. Some of those actually went for a pretty good amount of money too. I mean, so here's the thing, you know, if you if you find this for 25 cents to 50 cents, you know, you're in it at a dollar, you can sell this set for $20 and you can send it media mail because you can send VHSs in media mail. And that's another tip uh, that I want to share with you guys. You can send VHSs uh, media mail. So you save a pretty good amount of money if you sell collections of these. And uh, so that's also a little bit of a side note pro tip. Also look out for older Disneyland VHSs, um, especially if you can find them at a good price. And that's what it comes down to also is finding these older VHSs at a good price. Let's see if we can see Disneyland. What's the, what's good at Disneyland? Some of these sing-along songs. I know these are, are pretty, you know, people still find these. Uh, some of these Disneyland things and everything go here. And uh, I've sold this electrical parade one for a pretty good amount of money. Um, I've sold this one for $30 before in the past, so look out for that one. And uh, let's kind of get into the little the weird the weirdness of Disney VHSs. Um, I want to talk about the... The Little Mermaid Penis Castle. I know, you know, some of you might not know this, but this uh, VHS uh, cassette was actually banned because let's see if anyone actually has got a good v or a good picture of this. Well, anyways, back in the day, this castle, there, this one castle was shaped. Uh, I don't even think this is the one. One of the castle things were shaped like a penis, and it was a big old thing back in the day. And some people think these are actually worth a pretty good amount of money, but they're not. Yeah, right here, right in the middle, as you can see right here. So anyways, if you see this, it's kind of a side note. It's kind of something to know about because you, you want to know, you know, I want to show you guys kind of the different kind of history and the kind of thing. So this little mermaid cover is definitely collectible. I've sold these in the neighborhood between, you know, $20. I sold them for 15 If you can find them in good shape. And that's actually, I'm going to bring up another um, quick little thing too. The clamshell plastics, they're going to be crumbly for the most part. So always look out for... Um, clamshells that are in good condition because you can what you can do is you can buy the older clamshells that are in good condition um open them up pull out the the sleeves the the art and put in another one so if you want to have a a collection that is in good shape that's a way you can take a a a cassette that's not worth that much and you can swap it out for the different sleeves to you know get a good condition in your collection so look out for conditions because those things are broken all the time. I can't tell you how many uh, sealed VHSs that I've came across Disney-wise that have been crumbly because the plastic wasn't done. So definitely look out for that. Let me think if there's any other things that I want to tell you guys about this. I mean, it's pretty cut and paste or, you know, cut and dry. I'll leave a link to this below. This is a good resource right here. And also, just do your research. Know that 
the only VHSs that are going to be worth a good amount of money is Song of the South and some of the earlier Black Diamond ones that are sealed. So anyways, I'm Chris Thurshot Pustler. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button below. Also, subscribe if you want to learn more about stuff like this. We do a Know Your Stuff series about once a week. We're going to try, try to do um, these more frequently. It's been a while since I did one. I appreciate you guys being here. Click the bell if you want to get notifications of every time I upload a video. You'll be the first ones to know that a video is up. And I really appreciate everyone's support. Like I said, click the like button and you guys leave a comment below if this if you guys have any other little things about VHSs that I missed or didn't touch on or a question you have about Disney VHSs. I hope this uh, video was informative to you. I hope you learned something and just also be just be aware of some of the the the, the incorrect pricing on some of this stuff. It's not real. So you guys have a good one.